Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to VBA and this is the third lesson. In the previous two lessons, I would have showed you how to use a for next statement, how to use message boxes, how to use variables, how to add values to cells, and how to what the what general walkthrough of VBA is in general. So uh, what I'm going to show you next is I'm going to show you if statements, how to evaluate a function as well. I'm going to show you the immediate window which I was using previously uh, when I was practicing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up let's set up a couple of variables. Let's set up i as as integer. Let's set up j as integer, and then let's set up uh, k as uh, integer as well. So all those are going to be handy. And what we're going to do here is let's just set up. Uh, a for loop for i is equal to one to uh, ten. It seems like a let's just go uh, two to ten, and then we're gonna set up something pretty simple. We're gonna tab it in. We're gonna go i, and we're gonna call them one, and we're gonna go dot value equals date. So let's just take a look at what that does first. So date should give whatever today's date is. So if we go F8, F8. So you see that today's date is the 30th. So you'll see that it repeats that 10 times or up, up to the 10th row. So it goes 2 to 8. So if I, yep, so let's just stop it there. And let's just add in um, cells.clear because we're not going to be relying on any input cells in this one. So so what we're going to do next is we're going to use the evaluate function. So I'm going to go j is equal to evaluate. So evaluate is very similar to what you would put in Excel. It's literally just give me the output of your calculation. So I'm going to go quotation. You can use a number of different functions here. So I'm going to go ran between 1 and 100. And bracket close. So basically, you do the exact same thing you put into Excel, except for you put a uh, uh, quotation around it as well, the evaluate uh, function around it. So you put in brackets there. So pretty straightforward. And we're going to go cells J2, or no, sorry, I, comma 2, which basically is going to put in things into column B. And we're going to go value is equal to J. So let's quickly go F8. F8 one line at a time, so let's pay attention. So J here, so you'll see that J. So maybe I don't want to. I could also hover over and see the value. You can also do this as well. You can go debug dot print J, and you'll see it there. So if you don't have the media window, just press Control G and it'll pop up. So if I were to close this, Control G, you can also go to view. And media window is really useful. So you can you can also do it as this and go J is equal to 85. Right, and then now you've changed j's value to 85, or you can go j is equal to j plus 10. And if you look here, you just need to press enter. So, really useful function, uh, especially when you're debugging. And you'll see there, now it's put 95, now it's gone on to the next row. So, let's change this up a bit. Let's press F5 here. Let's go, let's take advantage of i and go back two dates. Here and just go uh, date minus i, which is basically go back a date, and then let's as well let's take advantage of let's now use an if statement. So we're gonna go if we're gonna use this uh, should we use the evaluate function? Or actually, I'm gonna show you how to use another way of doing it, approaching it. We're gonna use this application dot worksheet function okay it doesn't like that and then we're gonna go uh oh yeah then we're gonna go equals okay sorry i have to mixing up my different functions so we're gonna go uh weekday which basically is going to provide us uh the numeric value of the week so one is equal sunday two is equal to monday etc etc and then we're gonna call we're gonna call upon cells i one okay bracket okay didn't like that sorry i one I to press dot value oh, i shouldn't have to 
sorry you have to go then sorry i always do that so uh, i'm not sure why because a lot of programs require you to do that so we're gonna go in indented sometimes when you program and script multiple languages it can be a little bit confusion uh on the syntax syntax is the biggest thing so uh let's go so basically this is gonna evaluate to a certain number and then we're gonna go if it's equal to one then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it uh, cells dot I dot three is equal to value is equal to Sunday else if we're gonna go else and then we go basically the same thing here not Sunday obviously you can go through the different let's just finish that word Sunday and then we're gonna finish it off with and if so I'm gonna modify that later on and then we're gonna go next I obviously actually the next I is already down there so let's delete that let's just throw in a mention box so that way we know we're done uh, complete So let's press F8, run through it. So you'll see that 28th is Sunday. It's gonna be not Sunday, not Sunday, not Sunday. So by the time I hit row nine, it should be Sunday again. There you go. Perfect. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do array, like the simplest one. This is this is what I do for, for titles often. So I'll go range, uh, range. I'll go A1 to uh, what is it, C1, and then I'll go dot values equals array, and then I'll go date um, value day of week. And then if I were to press F8, clears everything, and then basically treats it like an array, and I'll go A1 date, A uh, C B next value, which is B1 uh, value, et cetera, et cetera. So really quick and easy way of doing that. Well, let's add in one last touch, which is let's do a sum. So I'm going to show you really quickly a sum. I'm not going to show you the the relative values one we're going to cover that in another lesson but let's just do the quick and easy way so another way of showing formulas is we can go um let's go cells b11 dot value is equal to quotation equals to sum of b2 to b10 uh, close that Let's run it, and then you'll see it there. Perfect. So that's a pretty quick and easy lesson on how to use if statements, how to use uh, evaluate, how to use application worksheet. And then, so if you see here, you'll see that it actually provides the value there. So really quick and easy way. If you were if you were to do it, actually, let me show you what would happen if we were to put this in evaluate essentially the same thing so what you'll see here is that it actually provides a constant number so it actually evaluates calculates and provides that just that calculated value so showed you how to evaluate show how do you how to use application worksheets to to do the calculations and uh, as an alternative to there are different limitations and different purposes but for beginners it's uh, not not as big a deal uh, and as well how to use like ran between day of the week uh, how to use if statements and in the next lesson we'll go dive a little bit deeper and use like else if um, etc so let's leave it as that and then uh, we'll continue on in the next lesson thank you and have a good day